In today's economy, it's more important than ever to be mindful of our spending and find ways to save money. With inflation levels at a multi-decade high, Americans are feeling the pressure of rising costs in housing, groceries, and other day-to-day -day expenses. A recent survey found that nearly 70% of Americans are worried about not having enough money saved up for retirement, with what little they have going towards day-to-day -day expenses instead. Lower-income households tend to be disproportionately affected by inflation. While price increases may not be significant for some, they can be a significant burden for those who are already struggling financially. In light of these financial challenges, it's crucial that people try to find ways to cut costs and manage their spending. In today's video, we'll be going over the top seven frugal living hacks that anyone can use to reduce their spending and keep more of their hard-earned money. But before we start, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Tip number one, make a budget and stick to it. The first and most important step in living a frugal life is to make a budget and stick to it. A budget is a plan for how you're going to spend your money, and it's essential to make sure you're not overspending. There are many different ways to make a budget, but the most important thing is to be honest with yourself about how much you're earning and spending, and where your money's going each week. To create a budget, start by listing all of your income sources, including your salary and any side hustles you might have going on. After that, make a list for all of your expenses, including your fixed expenses like rent or mortgage payments, and your variable expenses like groceries and entertainment. Make sure to include all of your expenses, even the small ones, like your morning coffee or your daily commute to work. Once you have a clear picture of your income and expenses, you can start to create a plan to manage your money. This may involve cutting back on unnecessary expenses, finding ways to increase your income, or finding ways to save money on the things you need to buy. It's also important to track your spending throughout the month and compare it to your budget to make sure you're sticking to it. By tracking your spending, you can identify areas where you're overspending and make adjustments to your budget as needed. Remember, creating a budget and sticking to it is an ongoing process. It's not a one-time thing. Review and adjust your budget regularly to ensure it still fits your current lifestyle and financial goals. Tip number two, shop around for the best deals. Whether you're buying groceries, clothes, or electronics, it's important to compare prices and look for sales and discounts. By taking the time to shop around and find the best deals, you can save a significant amount of money over time. A great way to find deals is to sign up for email newsletters and follow your favorite brands on social media. Many retailers offer exclusive sales and discounts to their email subscribers and social media followers, so it's a great way to stay informed about the latest deals and promotions. Another good tip is to always look out for clearance sales, end-of-season sales, and off-season sales. Retailers often offer discounts on items that are no longer in season or that they are trying to get rid of to make room for new inventory. Additionally, consider buying in bulk when it makes sense. Buying in bulk can save you money on items that you use frequently and that have a long shelf life. Don't be afraid to negotiate or haggle for a better price. You will be surprised how often retailers or salespeople are willing to negotiate on price, especially when it comes to big-ticket items like cars or appliances. By taking the time to shop around and find the best deals, you can save a significant amount of money over time without sacrificing the things you need or want. Tip number three, cook at home and meal prep. Eating out can be expensive, and it's often not as healthy as cooking your own meals. By cooking at home, you can save money and control the ingredients that go into your food. Plus, it's a fun and rewarding activity that can bring the family together. One way to make meal planning easy is to make a weekly menu and grocery list. Plan your meals in advance and make a list of the ingredients you'll need. This will help you avoid impulse buys and make sure that you have everything you need for the week. It will also help you save time and money by avoiding last-minute trips to the grocery store or resorting to takeout. Another good strategy is to cook your meals in batches and freeze them for later. This way, you'll have a home-cooked meal ready to go on busy weeknights. Also, try to take advantage of seasonal produce. Not only is it cheaper and fresher, but it also allows you to try new recipes and add variety to your meals. Cooking at home and meal planning is a great way to save money, eat healthier, and bond with your family. By taking the time to plan your meals, shop for ingredients, and cook at home, 
you'll be able to enjoy delicious and healthy meals without breaking the bank. Tip number four, use public transport or carpool. Transportation is one of the biggest expenses in most people's budgets. By using public transport or carpooling, you can save money on gas, parking, and car maintenance. When it comes to public transport, research the options available in your area, such as buses, trains, and subways. Look for any discounts or deals that may be available for students, senior citizens, or low-income families. Additionally, look for any smart card or pass options that allow you to load money onto a card and then use it to pay for fares. These can often save you money in the long run. Carpooling is another great option for saving money on transport. Not only will you save money on gas, but you'll also save money on the wear and tear of your car. If you drive to work or school, consider finding a carpool buddy or starting a carpool group. By using these two methods, you can save money on transport and help the environment at the same time. It's a win-win. Tip number five, shop secondhand. Shopping secondhand is a great way to save money and live a frugal lifestyle. Not only can you find great deals on barely used items, but you'll also be doing your part to reduce waste and help the environment. One of the biggest benefits of shopping secondhand is the cost savings. You can often find used items at a fraction of the cost of buying them new. This is especially true for items like clothing, furniture, and electronics, which can be very expensive when purchased brand new from a retail store. When you shop at thrift stores, garage sales, or online marketplaces, you're likely going to find items that are unlike anything you'll find in a traditional store. This can be especially true for vintage or antique items, which can be very expensive when purchased new. Additionally, shopping secondhand is a great way to support your local community. Many secondhand stores are locally owned, which means you'll be supporting small businesses and helping to keep money in your community. So next time you need to buy something, consider looking for it secondhand first. Tip number six, use coupons and discount codes. The next tip for living frugally is to take advantage of coupons and discount codes. These can provide significant savings on a wide range of products, including groceries, clothing, and electronics. Many retailers offer coupons and discount codes through their websites or email newsletters, so make sure to sign up for these to stay informed on their latest deals. Additionally, there are numerous websites and apps that can help you find coupons and discount codes for specific stores or products, such as RetailMeNot and Coupons.com. It's important to remember that coupons and discount codes have expiry dates, so be sure to use them before they expire to get the maximum benefit. And also, be mindful of the store's policies. Some stores only allow one coupon per transaction or per item. By following these tips and being strategic about using coupons and discount codes, you can save a significant amount of money on your purchases and live frugally. Tip number seven, live below your means. The final tip for living frugally is to live below your means. This means not spending more money than you make and not using credit to buy things you can't afford. By living below your means, you'll be able to save money, avoid debt, and achieve your financial goals. A great way to live below your means is to prioritize your spending and focus on the things that are truly important to you. This could include things like travel, education, or experiences with loved ones. By focusing on the things that matter most, you'll be able to enjoy the things you love without overspending on things that don't really matter. Additionally, try to avoid lifestyle inflation, which is the tendency to spend more as your income increases. Instead, try to maintain the same lifestyle even if your income increases and save or invest the extra income. This will help you live below your means and achieve your financial goals. Another way to live below your means is to practice mindful spending, which means being aware of your spending habits and making conscious decisions about how you spend your money. It's also about being intentional with your money and making sure you're getting the most out of your money. Living below your means is not about sacrifice. It's about being smart with your money and making the most out of what you have. By being mindful of your spending, setting financial goals, and focusing on what matters most, you'll be able to live a frugal and financially stable life. So, there you have it, the top seven frugal living tips. Remember, living frugally doesn't mean you have to live a dull and boring life. It's about being mindful of your spending and finding ways to save money. 
In fact, some of the best experiences a person can have in life cost little to no money at all. This could include things like hanging out with friends, going to the beach, or playing a sport. Try implementing these tips into your life and see how much money you can save. With a little discipline, you could see yourself retire early and enjoy yourself along the way. What do you think? Do you agree with these tips? Or maybe there were some that I missed. Let us know in the comment section below. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.